Well, what's going on guys? Hope you're having a good day. Uh, it is kind of early in the morning, kind of not. Um, but I ordered some supplements. I ordered my protein. Um, yes, the day before yesterday, it got here yesterday. I wasn't here yesterday, but it got here today. And as you guys know, I love this stuff. Um, the Matrix protein in the peanut butter cookie. I still have a little uh, cookies and cream left, but I really got into this peanut butter cookie. And what I've been doing, uh, which I think I've told you guys in, an, in a separate video, is uh, putting honey in it. So that's actually what I'm about to have. Scoop of protein, cup of oats, ta two tablespoons of peanut butter. I'm not really weighing anything or measuring it, but about two tablespoons of peanut butter and then I squirt some honey in it and then I stir it up and it's real good and I go to the gym and set PRs what's good guys hope you're having a good day headed to the gym right now about to train some chest and I'm gonna start off with some dumbbell bench press on the flat and see how that goes and just give myself a break from the barbell bench press um, as far as flat goes because then after that I think as of now I'll be going into incline barbell press and then incline hammer press and then either cable crossovers or um, dumbbell flies or peg deck flies uh, something some sort of fly motion after my pressing so that's what's going on right now um, it's really hot, kind of doing the car sauna, and yeah, somewhat disappointed with, uh, with today, I, I, I had a, a pin, I think I told you guys, for today, for a, uh, show called Scream Queens, thought I booked it, agency thought I booked it, and then got an email last night saying, hey, um, they went another way. So it's always bittersweet when you get that. Um, a lot more bitter than sweet, but uh, it, it's still encouraging in a sense that I'm close, but motivating, note I didn't say discouraging, but motivating in a sense that I still need to fight a little bit harder to, uh, to get this stuff. And, I think hard work and dedication is what it all comes down to. It's are you putting in the work daily and are you consistent? Are you consistent? Do you have that dedication to rebound, to be resilient, to get knocked down and get back up? I think that that's life. That's what life is. So, um, you, you know, one failure gets me that much closer to one success. And usually it takes a lot more failures or usually you have a lot more failures than you do successes. So knowing that, knowing that's life, uh, I think it's important to be able to have a good grip on who you are, what you stand for, and take pride in the process and pride in your work ethic. Uh, not in a, an arrogant way, but pride in a sense that you give it your all. And I think that's important because life, a lot of times, unfortunately, um, your success and failure can be put in other people's hands, if that makes sense. Ultimately, it comes down to you and your hard work and dedication. But there's a lot of little things along the way that can derail you from your path, from your career, from your dreams, because somebody told you no. And uh, I think that it's so important that when one person says no, we know that there's seven billion others that might say yes. So don't get discouraged with all the people who say you suck, you can't do it, you should do something else. What's your fallback plan? Like what? <laughs> What's my fallback plan? So like what, do I have a plan for if and when I fail, like that's horrible. You shouldn't have a fallback plan. You should have your dreams and you should go for them and you should adjust on the fly. I mean, that's life. You never know what's gonna happen. And I truly believe that if you're passionate about what you do, you can make a living doing whatever it is. If you are passionate enough about it 
and you are willing to put in the work and stay dedicated to it, then you can do anything in the world that you want. So I'll leave you with that before we get into the workout. Never let anyone tell you that you can't, that you're not good enough, um, and it offend you. Let that motivate you. Um, I think constructive criticism is great and important. And if you're not where you want to be, you probably aren't good enough. But that doesn't mean you can't get good enough. So put in the work, stay dedicated to your craft, and uh, let's go get in a good session in the gym. I'll see you guys on the other side. So my first working set felt about as heavy as I would have wished my last working set to be. Um, everything so far in this workout has been kind of thrown off. So usually I start with the barbell bench. Started with dumbbell bench today. My warm up wasn't the same. Nothing's been the same up to this point. I even jumped up to these 95s pretty fast. Uh, I went like 55, 75. 85, 95 or whatever, something like that. But um, anyways, it's good to know that uh, a routine will give you the same result every time. And if you switch that routine, then to expect the same result would, I, I don't want to say would be crazy, but you're not going to get the same result. It's like when you're cooking, if you use the same ingredients, you're going to get the same thing every time. If you put something crazy in there, you're not going to get the same thing. So. That's kind of how your warm-up is as well. So if you do switch your warm-up up, um, man, don't necessarily expect everything to feel the same when you get back into it. Anyways, enough of that. These 95s felt heavy, so maybe I'm just super weak today, or uh, maybe my body just needs to get acclimated. So not gonna move the weight, gonna hit 95s again. Hopefully they feel a lot lighter. I really wanted to hit hundreds and above today, but if I don't, it's no big deal. There's always next week. I had a good bench session earlier this week, so keep that in mind too. If you if you if your training frequency is a lot higher, then understand. You know, if you train twice, if you train say bench twice a week, opposed to once a week, that second workout may be affected by the earlier workout. Anyways, enough talking. Let's get back to work. Good news, and I got bad news. The good news is, I found a weight that is pushing me the way all my reps need to be pushed. In other words, I found that perfect weight to give me what I need today. The bad news is that weight is only 95 pounds. So, not gonna be going triple digits today, but again, as I always say, I think I say it in like every video, it truly is a marathon, not a sprint. Uh, there's no need to push yourself to the brink of injury or potentially hurting yourself. It's not that serious. You're going to be okay. Uh, lift another day. What's up, brother? Good to see you, man. Doing a little filming? Yes, sir. My man, Neil. Uh, I need to shout out his, I think his, his Instagram is like NYK23. Anyway, he has like a new pair of Jordans on every single day. It's crazy. But anyways, um... Yeah, so I, I, you know, when you're lifting, if you find that weight that's perfect, even if it's not what you set out to hit that day, you train by feel a lot of times. Um, so, like I said, good news is I found the perfect weight. Bad news, it's not as much as I wanted. But we try to hit another set of eight, and then we'll go on to the next exercise.
talk you through this a little bit. Uh, onto the incline now. Hit uh, 135. Did 95, no 135. This is going to be 185. 135 felt super light. I'm stopping about two, three inches above my chest. I'm not going all the way down. Um, just to keep more of the focus and tension on my chest. Um, as the last few inches, uh, I feel it more in my front delts, especially on the incline than anything. So I'm just going to stop just short of my chest, keep all the emphasis on the chest, and um, try to get eight right here. Alright guys, finished up with my incline barbell, now into this incline hammer press. The reason I'm switching over to this is because it is essentially an isolateral movement, meaning that each arm is going to be working independently, so if there is an imbalance or what have you, uh, this is going to even that out. So instead of finishing up my upper chest uh, or my incline work, on the barbell bench. Uh, I'm gonna move it into this, which is, um, I'm not, it's not as much of a compound movement. It's more of, like I said, an isolateral, um, really just focused on the upper chest as opposed to exploding, bracing with the entire body. I'm still doing that somewhat with this, but not near as much as I would on the incline barbell. So, um, yeah, probably gonna go, right now I just have one plate on here, and I'm gonna do about 20 reps. And I'll probably add a quarter and do 15, two plates, 12. We'll see. <laughs> Got a plate and quarter on there now, and what I'm actually going to do is slow my tempo down quite a bit, noticeably. So, I wasn't even going to put the previous clip in, because who wants to see 20 reps with a plate on an incline hammer? No one. But, uh, I'm going to leave it in there so you can compare the tempo of what I just did with that light warm-up explosive rep weight to this, which isn't much heavier but I can make it a lot harder and recruit much more muscle fibers by slowing it down and really trying to um, contract, especially on the positive or concentric portion of the exercise. So let's get into it. So, as you saw, I just did 12 there, and I couldn't have done 20, even though it was just a 25 pound increase per arm. Uh, I really slowed it down and contracted at the top. Slow negative. You know the drill. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna do one more set of 12. So, I chose to do two sets of 12, but if you wanted to break it down into three sets of eight, technically, if you did the math, it's the same total volume. Because two times 12 is 24, and eight times three is 24. I'm not trying to get all mathematical, but it's important to know when you are dealing with total volume that there is more than one way to achieve that. So I'm just doing two sets of 12, and I'm gonna go on to the next exercise. So don't always feel like you have to do three or four or five sets. Sometimes two sets can be enough. 
What's good guys? Just got done with the gym and quickly excuse excuse all this going on. Just quickly. Um uh wanna shout out my gym, uh Burbank Athletic Club. And not even just shout them out, but any local gym uh, I'm a fan of supporting, especially if lifting weights is why you go to the gym. Some people go to the gym for the social aspect. Some people go to the gym because it's the cool thing to do. They like they have a class that they like. Um, so any any reason that you go to a gym is, you know, your prerogative. Like. It's cool, like, I'm glad that you're going. I think people that don't go to the gym, like I don't understand why they would not work out. Not even not go to a gym, but just not work out in general. It just blows my mind. Like Being alive is, is, is really cool. It is an absolute blessing. I mean, I don't know what I would do if I wasn't alive. <laughs> and you probably don't know what you would do either. So, um, you know, don't take that for granted. Don't take for granted that your heart's just gonna always beat good and everything's gonna be okay. It's really important that you take care of yourself. It's really important you don't put, you know, all that garbage in your mouth and just think it doesn't have an effect on you. Um, you know, when you're younger, looks is what it's all about. But as you get older, you realize that doesn't even matter as much as health does. So please take care of yourself. Whether you're younger than me and you're watching this, or you're older than me and you're watching this, or no matter what age you are, just be conscious of it and and stop taking it for granted. Um, work hard in the gym and work hard outside of the gym. Take care of your take care of yourself. Take care of your body. And um, anyways, back to what I was saying. I like local gyms. I like this local gym. Or I like local gyms because they I feel like they're more chill they're more relaxed and um, they don't have necessarily a higher power to speak to like a commercial gym or a chain gym so they can kind of have their own rules and they're usually really cool they usually uh, will let you film let you that's not a word <laughs> but um, yeah, I really like it. Now, now, like I said, if you're into more of the um, the chit chat aspect, uh, and if you wear makeup to the gym, guys, I know you be wearing that makeup to the gym. Um, then a local gym may not be where you want to go because no one cares what you're wearing. No one cares that you're wearing makeup. But I will say the sense of community uh, at the at local gyms is is solid, um, especially at Burbank Athletic Club. All the trainers are so nice. They're so cool to me. Uh, they just let me film, and all the, there's a there's a lot of guys that go there that are around my age, and it's just cool because we, it's, you know, we're not looking at each other trying to show off and show out like the other gym that I went to when I first moved out here. Uh, it, it was all about like egos, you know, and um, it was competitive, but not in a good way. Um, and this gym that I go to now is competitive, but in an awesome way. We all want everybody to hit PRs, and um, it, it's more of that type of feel. So if you're not really happy with your gym and it's not giving you what you need or what you want, maybe look at uh, switching gyms. I, I know I've made a video about that before, so I'm not going to go in depth with it. But as I said in that one, I will say in this one, then I will switch subjects. Make sure your gym is congruent uh, or in line with your goals and and it's giving you what you need anyways at smart and final can you see maybe if I go through the window tent smart and final not that you care and not that it really matters but I still thought I would show you also checking out Popeye been eating my spinach what up though uh, about to get some chicken about to get some peanut butter because I'm out. About to get some honey because I'm almost out. And I gotta get water because I'm almost out. Chicken, peanut butter, honey, and water. And that's all I'm getting. And that's like a lot for me. Yeah, not too much variation in my diet 
keep it pretty strict because it's cheap, it's easy, and it tastes tastes pretty good. So, anyways, I think that's gonna conclude this video. Not gonna show you anything after this. Gonna go home, shower, put up my groceries, and catch my breath for a second, and then I'm going to uh I would say have a Skype call, but technically it's FaceTime call with uh, the director that directed me on the Toyota commercial. We are working on some things and not some YouTube things, but some big time big boy projects. So we're going to FaceTime and throw some ideas out at each other and in time, I'm sure I'll introduce you to him, or I'm sure you'll see him. He, he was in my Toyota spec, or my Toyota BTS, for a half a second, but um, he, I didn't introduce him or anything. He was just in the background. But anyways, super cool guy, and uh, we he, he's working on a feature right now. Uh, he's about finished writing it, and we're thinking about writing a short, and and him directing it, me starring in it, and just making our own stuff. Like, cutting out the middleman for, for, you know, we want something, so let's just create it. That's what I'm talking about. So if there's something that you want and people keep telling you, no, you can't do it, just do it yourself. Like, don't, don't put it in other people's hands. Put it in your own hands. Take it. Make it. And be great. Anyways, that's all I got for today. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Wait can't say hope you're having a wonderful day because I'm about to say my closing. And that's stay hungry, stay humble, and have a blessed day.